Hey, you all, but it's good. I am back. Um, <laughs> I was working today, so I got to see the episode late. Whatever, it's cool. I still watched it. Now, ooh, gr what was with that ending? Why were there only three? It low-key looked like the pit crew, but I don't remember the pit crew having tattoo. Because that one black guy, because I'm like... We didn't eliminate two queens this season. Like, what? Like, why are there only three bitches? I was so confused. I don't know what's happening at the end of this episode. That shit was a gag. I'm like, who the fuck are these bitches? What is going on? However, baby, I'm gonna have to d devote a whole different epi uh, a whole different. I can't even talk. A whole different video to the season ten queens, cause the bitch. I was at work on my break. I hop on the scenes. I see these bitches looking sickening. I was like. Mama Rule was stunned. Cameron Michaels, Monique Hart, Veron what's her name? Vanessa, Vanjie, Mateo, whatever the fuck. Eureka. You know, these bitches were looking sickening. I was like, ooh, bitch. Come come for that meal when y'all ready. After y'all finish watching this, watch that one when, it, when I put it up. However, let's get into this episode because this shit was a gag. Um... I didn't get to watch the lip sync or who went home last episode, but I figured it was Chi Chi. I was right. It was Chi Chi. That was deserved. Um, Trixie was shook as fuck. Especially, I would have been too. Y'all heard Shangela's speech? Shangela's speech was... I was shook as fuck. I was like... I was, That's what had me gagging. Not the fact that both of them won that tad-ass lip sync. What had me motherfucking gagging was the fact that bitch... She was like... Made a career and propelled herself for it. I was like... Shangela, if you send Trixie home, you are bugging. I I was gagging. So when she sent home Chi Chi, I was like, <sighs> um. So the challenge was a soup can and club couture. Send me home now because I can't do either of those. <laughs> um, Aja picking sweet. You in danger, girl? Cause. Sweet. Like, what the fuck was she think? I don't know. Um, bitch, I was screaming at the fact that BB was talking about a chew. I, what? <laughs> I was like, does that mean something? Uh, like, I was like, does that mean something in, like, Africa or something? Because that might sound so ignorant. But I don't mean it to come across that way. But I just, I was like, does this mean something in her culture? Because I don't get it. Like, I was literally like, why the fuck is she trying to name this shit a chew? Um, what else happened? Now, let me tell you something. I might, I might be funny, you know. I'm definitely not a singer. But, bitch, when I tell y'all I ain't no fucking seamstress, I ain't no fucking seamstress. I would be fucked. I would be going home. Y'all y'all motherfuckers was making fun of what Shangela was wearing. <laughs> bitch, I would, Yo, it would be bad. <laughs> um... Trixie helping Shangela was so funny to me because it's like, I, I saw through that. The minute she carried her ass over, I'm like, look at this bitch. Trying to, trying to, ooh, like, I saw through that whole thing. She was like, she saved me, so let me repay this bitch by helping her. Like, bitch, I see you, bitch. You ain't fucking slick, bitch. <laughs> uh, what else happened? What else happened? Aja is low-key me, though, because, like, I'm so confident. Like, I would probably border on delusion and some shit like this. Like, I'd be like, I'm sending all you bitches home. Fuck y'all hoes. I'm winning this challenge. Fuck y'all bitches. And then I'm just fucked. So, fuck it, you know? I'd rather be that delusional, extra confident bitch than that insecure bitch. So, catch that. Um... Bendela is getting on my motherfucking nerves every motherfucking episode talking about, oh, I don't want to send bitches home and, and, I'm, and it's really starting to take a toll on me and all this shit. Bitch, it's the name of the motherfucking game. I don't know what the fuck you thought you was going to walk into, Miss Bendela, bitch who said she was never going to come on All Stars, but decided to carry her ass on it any fucking ways. That shit was getting on my motherfucking nerves. And Kennedy was getting this bitch together. She's like, well, girl, you thinking too much about it. You doing too much about it. Like, bitch, yes, exactly. She's thinking way too fucking much. And then and then Manila want to be defensive talking about, oh, no, that's not really what I'm talking about. Bitch, it basically is. Shut the fuck up. You doing too much. You doing too fucking much. She acting so, like, Ugh. and And just like Kennedy said later on in the episode, girl, if you, if you, what did she say? I wrote it down. Where is it? If you don't want to win, stop playing to win. Exactly, bitch. If you don't want to win, stop fucking playing to win. God damn it, bitch. 
hello, fuck, I, that hairline on Mama Rue's wig was weird to me, I was like, why I look like that, you know, I'm like, I'm like seeing through that shit, like, I don't know, because y'all saw it, it was like, like, I don't know if it was a flower on her shit, I don't know what it was, but, no shade, her hairline was, was, was suspect. I'm sorry, I just gotta keep it real. <laughs> um, the runway, all the cans for me look nice. I mean, how the fuck am I supposed to fucking judge a runway on cans? Bitch, you would've caught me looking like a Campbell's chicken noodle soup with no soda on the side, bitch. <laughs> um, for me, all of the other runways were toots. Aja looked great to me. You know, was his studio... You right, not really, but it looked really nice. Um, Shangela's bitches was saying her shit looked cheap or whatever with the tinsel. I loved the three things. That fucking wig was jai fucking enormous, and I love a bitch with a big fucking poofy wig, bitch. Yes. So Shangela had me there. Shangela had me. Trixie looked good. Um. Kennedy look good. I like Kennedy. I, I really enjoy Kennedy. I really do, so. Um, Bendela was fine. Bendela was good. It was good. See, the only boot for me was BB because I was looking at it like, this doesn't really give me Studio 54, like, disco. This doesn't give me really disco. It was just like a long, fringy situation. And it's like... But it it was long, fringy, but, like, see, Peepaw, Shangela's, and, um, Aja's, and, uh, I feel like another bitch had fringe. It was, like, long fringe, but it wasn't, like, small sections of fringe all the way to the floor. Like, it was just very one note for me. Mind you, I love BB. I stand BB, so I was, like... Um, I just wasn't, it, it just wasn't hitting for me. I could be wrong, bitch. I don't know anything about fucking fashion. Don't come for me. I'm just saying, I don't fucking know. Like, it just wasn't giving me that. But I'm not, I'm not even going to fucking justify my motherfucking position. It's my motherfucking opinion. Fuck. Ooh, I tried it. However, this Francis Jolie shit was bad. Francis Jolie. <laughs> Francis Jolie. <laughs> I feel so cunt saying that. Francis Jolie. <laughs> Um, yeah, I felt bad for Aja because RuPaul low-key read the eyes out of this bitch when she was like, I, I expect you to know your references. And, and Aja just kept trying to defend her, her, her decisions and RuPaul was just not fucking with it. I'm like, damn, like, you getting read by this bitch, like. When RuPaul gets to reading, I, I I clock out. I grab my time card, I hit the stamp, and I'm out that bitch. Because, no. <laughs> Fuck that. And then Mich Michelle with her little critique where she was like, oh, you know, I don't know why you came out as an old lady. I kind of get it because Kennedy has played old characters before. And also, wasn't this bitch a part of the old lady brigade on season seven? The, it was the old, the bitter old lady brigade. That's what it was. So, it makes sense to me. But then again, honestly, she should have just did, like, a dancing diva. Like, you know, something something like Alyssa's Go-Go Juice last season. Something like that, where it's like, it makes you dance. Because, bitch, you're the dancing diva of Texas. But, what do I know? Um, I was gagged that the judges were really living for BBs. Not that BBs was necessarily bad i enjoyed her soup can it was cute um zaza i think that's what it was called um and whatever and her look maybe it's because i just didn't really understand her look that i just assumed the judges but the judges loved it the judges featured it bitch they they stand for her so i was like bitch when they asked her you made this and she said i did i just said <laughs> y'all know aja is a messy bitch i'm shocked aja didn't say um, I helped her, because Aja is that bitch. Y'all saw it on the season that reunion, let's not act. Oh, and I am so happy, low-key, that even though I didn't personally feel that it was justified, 
Um, I'm so happy that BB won because all you bitches have been trying her. Talking about, oh, she a mole. She's just going to be safe all the way to the end. No, bitch. No. She is not. She is that girl. And she's going to slay. And she's going to win challenges. And she's going to be a bad bitch because she's BB Zahra Bene, Cameroon. And she is that girl that you bitches wish y'all fucking knew. Because I knew. I've been new. I've been on this shit. You bitches been trying her. Trying to say, trying to invalidate her. And trying to act like she's this mole. No, she ain't no fucking mole. She is just that girl fuck out of here playing with my fucking <laughs> bitch i ain't new bitch i ain't new to this i know what the fuck is going on Ugh. um girl kennedy was hype as fuck to be safe she went yes and Bandela was showing her ass when she was talking with ben, when she was talking to kennedy and she was like i've been sending all these girls home like okay but you don't even like sending them home so fuck are you talking about you're talking about you so exhausted and tired talking about i've been having to choose who goes home okay well bitch you putting too much fucking thought into it and that's why your ass so stressed like a girl Ooh, she's she's i like bandela and i'ma come for her and just just for the purpose of I'm, I, I just have to read her because she just makes it easy on her to, to read her because bitch sitting here really complaining about the motherfucking game. If you really don't like it that much, get rid of yourself. Catch that tea. Um, um, oh, g- girl, Trixie, when she was giving her explanations throughout the episode... You know, it was sounding weird. I'm like, Trixie, if you were to send Shangela home, when she was like, oh, I don't know if it, like, those wins mean anything. I'm like, no, bitch. Shangela saved you when you really could have went home, okay? You fucked up. You fucked up. And Shangela saved your ass. So if you were to send Shangela home, you are fucked up fucked all the way up you will be a fake ass bitch which i would secretly live for trixie being a fake ass bitch but no not like this not my baby shangy angie not my bitch no not her anybody but her don't do that um shangela and, and this tired ass daenerys shit oh my god you are not daenerys stormborn the fuck i keep telling you this I keep telling, I'm telling y'all, if if VH1 and get and HBO don't cash her a motherfucking check for all this sponsorship that she is doing for Game of Thrones, bitch, girl, they better have. Um, yo, BB is iconic. <laughs> I just remember what the fuck happened, cause I wrote BB is an icon, and I'm like, what the fuck was I talking about, bitch? When Aja was trying to plead her case, and BB just talking over her. <laughs> Fucking iconic. I was screaming. That's how you do it, BB. BB's like, but you made it. You're sickening. You made it. And and Aja's just trying to, like, talk. And she's just cutting her off. (laughs) Fucking priceless. Um, oh my god. When Trixie said partially sedated twink. (laughs) Yo, reading Pearl is way too easy. Oh, this lip sync. So... You know, it, it was Diana Ross, and I'm seeing BB on the top, and I'm like, look at that, look at that, bitch. You played Diana Ross a few episodes ago. Go ahead, girl. However, Trixie was really giving it to me, this performance. This lip sync actually gags me. I don't know if it's just me. I'm a, I'm a, I haven't, I literally just watched the episode once, and I just, and I came on the scenes. Y'all know how I do. I like to be very raw, unfiltered, uncensored, all that. But baby... I was gagged because Trixie was giving her all. She threw that motherfucking jacket. She was on the floor. She was kicking. She was bucking. Just really fucking it up. And normally, I root for the black girls. You know me. I root for anybody black. But, and y'all know I love BB. I fucking stand BB. I would live if BB won this season. Please believe. But, I don't know. BB was just doing what she was doing a few episodes ago. Like, you know, very, I mean, like, Diana Ross, but I don't know, it just, like, Trixie was really putting on a show, so I was gagged when BB won, but I'm curious to see who Trixie has in her lipstick, because if, yo, if Trixie has Shangela's lipstick, ooh, that would be a fucking g- gag, oh my god, I was gagging, and BB is so dramatic when she was crying, she was like, oh, Girl, BB is just with all the drama, and that's why I love her. She's so dramatic. I fucking love this bitch. This episode was really fucking good. Really fucking good. But y'all let me know how y'all feel down, down in the comments. Bye, hoes.